So, finally got a break in the weather. Figured I'd come back out to the boat. See if I could get one of those stringers out. If anybody knows how I could find out the information from this boat, please let me know. There's the number. And it's called uh, Griptide. I looked it up, I just couldn't find any background history. So I just came out here today just to take a look at this one stringer. Remember in the previous video, I took out that one piece up top. Right there, dry as a bone. So I just went down the lines I scored with a chisel just to make sure it was kind of separated from the wood. Did that on both sides. And then I came here and I just pried up a little bit. I seen that it was loose. So I figured I'd do a little video and uh, show you what coming out. So. Just came out. Nice and easy. And there's the line. All the way up. Material looks good. It's not rotten. It's still hard. It's a bit wet. You can see it's a bit wet, but this would have lasted many more years, that's for sure. Underneath, I don't know if they put a chamfer on here originally before they glassed it. But there's a little bit of a bevel there. Anyway, I'm going to redo the same thing. I'm going to put it in without anything on the bottom. If anything, something very flexible just to hold the stringer in place. Maybe put a little bit of a chamfer on the outside. I'm going to glass it. I'm going to try to stick to original design because uh, from what I see, tearing this boat apart after you know, 43 whatever years. It says it's a 78. That's what the guy told me, but I looked for numbers. I even got rid of some of the paint here. I can't see a number, any numbers there. Can't see any numbers here. I looked everywhere else. Can't figure it out. So I'll assume it's a 78. But yeah, that's how easy it was to take that one stringer out. What I'll do on the other ones is same thing. I'll score up the sides and then try to pull it out all in one piece. I'll remove that front end uh, and try to get the stringer in one solid piece and then just copy it. Um, but for the first one, it was kind of a little test run. See what's going on. And also, if anybody knows... Um, because it's on, has the wheels under here, I'm just wondering about point loads. So if I take away these stringers, if the hull, I know the hull is thick. I don't know how thick this fiberglass is, but I know it's thick. So I don't know if it'll point load it to a point where it'll warp it a little bit, which will affect it when I put the stringers in. Uh, I don't think it's going to. But I'm not exactly sure. If anybody has any ideas, just let me know. I'm trying to do this the easiest way without building, you know, big big brackets with long horizontal uh, pieces of wood under there. But, you know, there's... You got six wheels, two, four, six, all the way up on each side. I don't think it'll affect it, but I still am not sure. I think we'll be all right. But anyway, just wanted to make a little short video. Just give you an idea of what it looks like after a stringer came out, full stringer, all the way up. Looks good. Wood looks good for being 40, 43 years old. This one, right to the front. Looks great. A little bit wet, but not bad. That could be from all even the rain we got lately and snow. Anyway, I'll give you a little quick update. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll get a little bit more done before the next time I do a video here. Cheers. Have a good one.